and I was happy and privileged to be a part of that project. Were you happy with it? Oh, yes, where, where we filmed. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, there's, filmed. there's a lot on green screen, okay. as you'd, you would suspect, but there's a lot of on-location work as well, because there are stories we tell of people who mattered in the history of science, and you might not have heard about them. And so, uh, Michael Faraday, for example, well, he's well known to physicists, but he's yeah. much less known to the public. Uh, without him, I mean, he basically birthed modern understanding of electromagnetism, and his inventions are how today we still produce electricity. And this is, he was at work in the middle 19th century, and he was a Brit. So we come, I, that's when I was in London, uh, and we filmed it in a place where he hung out, where his papers are kept, as the Royal Institution. Okay. So there's some historical props we're giving to people, uh, uh, not physical props, but <laughs> giving proper recognition to people who have come before us, who have struggled, who discovered some truth, who had either personal struggles, uh, Faraday had very modest beginnings, um, personal struggles or struggles upon arriving at a truth, bringing it to the world around them only to confront a level of resistive dogma that basically made them martyrs in the history of science because their ideas were suppressed. In some cases, they lost their lives. We profiled a Giordano Bruno, who you don't hear of because right after him came Galileo, like minutes, m practically minutes <laughs> after him, Galileo's on the scene. And we learned about his conflicts with the church, not Bruno's conflicts with the church. Bruno looked up at night and said, I see all these stars, that's kind of cool. I wonder if those stars are like our sun, just like really far away. If that's the case, maybe they have planets like our sun has. Because Copernicus said, we're not in the center, the sun is. And if we're not in the center, and we're one of m multiple planets, that means there could be other places for life. That means there could be life out there in the universe. Well, that was a heretical idea. It would mean Earth was not the object of creation. It would mean God was looking elsewhere as well to put life. This was just completely heretical to the Catholic Church at the time. He refused to recant, and the Inquisition handled that case, and handed him over to the Roman authorities and had him burned at the stake. Some centuries later, there would finally be a statue honoring him uh, in the, I think, the Campo di Fiore in Rome. And there's a, sta a, a rather sad statue. He's there, uh, hooded uh, monk, with a monk garb, and a tribute to his first idea that maybe the universe is bigger than we thought. We tell his story. So mixed in with all the places we go, that I take you, as your personal guide, there are stories we tell that I narrate. And in those stories, the characters that are represented, it's a kind of a graphic novel style animation of these historical retellings. And so we actually got um, uh, marquee voice talent to be these characters. You have some voice talent yourself. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, I don't, I don't hear my voice. Okay. Yeah, I don't. You know, you have a, you, the answering machine, you have to do that test. Who, yeah, I don't know who that is, that's not me. Uh, I think your voice sounds much more resonant in your own cranial cavity than detached from it. So I, I don't think about it, but thank you uh, for that. Uh, and, but we, so we have, so uh, Richard Gere is one of the voices, okay. and, and uh, Sir Patrick Stewart uh, okay. is one of them, uh, and even uh, Seth MacFarlane is one of the voices. Excellent. And it's not Stewie, no. <laughs> <laughs> and are you no, he does a great job. I mean, it's the, everyone <laughs> cared about this project. They knew it was something bigger than themselves. That there's a, we, we have an important mission here, and that's to raise the science literacy of the world just a couple of notches above where it is. Because there's so much out there. There's so many forces that want to deny a scientific truth just because it conflicts with their ideology. They're, they determine that they don't like science and therefore it doesn't matter to them. There are all these sort of categories of how people in, think about science that are not always healthy for the future of a state, the future of our species, the future of the earth. 